say it every time, but this is one thing that kind of gets sets me off. But this fear in her, and it's a fear of, and it's a common fear throughout the world, and it's called the fear of the alien other. If I look at someone else and I see differences, I think I cannot understand who they are. And so I seize on every opportunity to judge them. And I will judge in generalizations, I will judge in stereotypes, and it all stems from my fear that, that they're a threat, that they're a, some, somehow that they're a danger to me. So when I saw that, what I did, instead of going and entering into the conversation, I was in another room, I just sat quietly and I prayed affirming that the light in her would respond to the love of God and heal that situation. Now that is almost too specific of a prayer for me. I mean, I like to just be very general. But what ended up happening is the woman that she was talking to said some very gentle words that totally changed the conversation. I don't know. I'm not saying that it was intercessionary prayer. I'm not saying a miracle happened over there. But I'll tell you what, I wasn't upset anymore. My suffering had fallen away. And it seemed, as it was looking out there, that there had been a healing in the other room. We decide. We decide. And prayer is a vehicle for affirming what we want. So there, there's, there is... Um, there, there are a number of different forms. I'm just going to very quickly just talk about a couple of things. We pray affirming what we want, what we truly desire, our heart's desire. We pray for the well-being of others. This is called intercessionary prayer. Intercessionary prayer, it's very strange. They've done a number of studies that seem to indicate that it works, that people who are being prayed for do better uh, in health situations than people who aren't. We've seen it happen here in this ministry where people have been healed from stuff that, that really they would have said, no, you can't be healed from. So, but the prayer that is the most effective, the prayer that is the most effective is the, the meditation that we do at the end of the service. And I, I talk about it because I really want to, I, I, I want us to be more and more aware of, of this as a practice of what we do is to extend the good that is in us out into the world to mix with the good of the others in the world. And to, to see the light in us, which is our divine identity, go forth and mix and mingle with the light of others. And in other words, dismissing any negative thing that we see about the other. And I'm not just talking about character defects. We see plenty of those in others. We, and, 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 you know, some people would say, you know, we don't see enough in ourselves, but that's not the case. We see too many in ourselves. We project them onto others, and this is the reason for most of the fear that's going on. But instead of seeing that, see the light in us, touching the light in others, and this whole thing being activated so that whatever it is that needs healing is healed. Rather than me specifically say, well, what he really needs to be healed from is this obnoxious behavior, what he really needs to be healed from is that cancer, to not think about it that way anymore. To just send the light, just to send the light and, and, and release any fear that we have. This is, a, this is a prayer that has nothing to do with words and has everything to do with love. So this highest prayer that we can involve ourselves in is to send the love that is in us out into the world as a healing balm and to understand that the light that is in us is surely the light and love of God. That's all. <laughs>